In this video I'm going to look at the 2017 paper 1 exam question where you have to calculate the enthalpy change of a reaction. So here's all the information from the question. It was worth three marks this. Um, you've got to use all of this data to calculate a value for the enthalpy change of formation of carbon monoxide. So if you want to pause the video, have a go, go for it and then play on when you're ready for the answer. So if I was doing this, I'd be looking at the data in the table and see its enthalpy change of formation, and I would draw up an enthalpy change of formation cycle. So what does that look like? It looks something like that. That's the beginnings of it anyway, where I've got an elements box at the bottom. Remember, enthalpy change of formation is the formation of one mole of a substance from elements. And in the top box here, I've got this equation here. The enthalpy change of formation that we want is for carbon monoxide, you can see it's going to be this stage here, this line here. So the next thing we'll do is we'll, we'll put all the arrows on. So the first one we'll put on is this one here. So going from elements to one mole of Fe3O4, that's going to have an enthalpy change of minus 1118.5, and I got that from the table. The next line is the unknown, so that's for four moles of carbon monoxide, so that's going to be 4x, I'll call it. We don't need a value for iron because iron's an element anyway, so there's no enthalpy change of formation for elements. And then the final arrow would be going from elements to four carbon dioxides, so that's in the table as well, four times minus 393.5. And the other enthalpy change we've got is this one here, there it is there, minus 13.5. So now I've got the cycle drawn, I would then establish the two roots. So one of the roots looks like that. So it incorporates this enthalpy change, this enthalpy change, and that one. So we'll call it the pink root. And the other root, going from elements to three moles of iron and four moles of carbon dioxide, is that root there. So literally just the minus 393.5 times four. So Hess's law says that the sum of the enthalpy changes in the two roots equal each other. So I've represented like that. So essentially the sum of the pink root equals the sum of the green root. And then all we need to do is rearrange for 4x and solve for x. 4x comes out of being equal to minus 442. So therefore x is minus 110.5 kilojoules per mole. 